the holy sites in the Holy Land are preparing for the papal visit. This is the scenery that will greet Pope Francis when flying Israel by helicopter from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. It is an intense pilgrimage, bearing a profound spiritual significance. After visiting Amman and Bethlehem, he will be arriving to Jerusalem. Well, we welcome him as a great spiritual leader, the leader of the Catholic Church and a, and a world figure, uh, quite apart from that. And uh, he'll be deeply and warmly welcomed in, in Israel, which is, as you know, the birthplace of Christianity. We have common roots and common aspirations for a, a better and more peaceful world, which I know the Pope shares. So he'll be greeted as, uh, as a great friend. In the Wailing Wall, the only remnant of the old Temple of Jerusalem, the Pope and his Argentinian friend, Rabbi Abraham Skorka, will be joined together in a symbolic reconciliation act between Judaism and Christianity. Inside every Christian there is a Jew, says the leader of the Catholic world. In the Temple Mount, Pope Francis will be welcomed by the Mufti of Jerusalem, the highest Muslim authority in the region, and will visit the emblematic mosques. By the Pope's request, a ceremony will be taking place in the Yad Vashem Holocaust Museum that commemorates the biggest genocide in human history during the Second World War. While visiting Jerusalem following the footsteps of Jesus, the Pope will be walking through the streets of the most sacred squared kilometer in humanity, along the Mount of Olives and famous walls of the old city of Jerusalem. An exceptional personality over years over epochs. You just have to look at his face, the way he speaks, what emanates from him. That will save every word. We are awaiting him to come and provide uh, an example of follow me to all of the believers. Pope Francis will be holding a Mass in the Cenacle, the place where Jesus dined with the Apostles, the Last Supper. Following, the Pope will pray in Gethsemane, the garden where Jesus went to pray in, before being arrested. Thousands of pilgrims from all over the world, who are visiting the area in the occasion of the Pope's visit, will be traveling through more sites, considered to be the cradle of Christianity. They will be baptized in the Jordan River, visit Capernaum on the shores of the Galilean Sea, visit the city of Annunciation, Nazareth, or the Judean desert monasteries. However, these days, in the cradle of civilization, all roads lead to Jerusalem. Yeah.